The Northern Cardinal is one of the most beloved birds in the United States. The species is particularly popular due to the male's striking color, contentment in residential locations, bold song, and attentiveness to his mate and offspring. One of the interesting things about male cardinals is what certain characteristics signal about him to his potential mate. For instance, one study found that beak coloration was an indication of bird condition. The redder the beak, the better the health of the cardinal. Another interesting note researchers found was that the size of their mask was an indicator of reproductive success. The smaller the black mask, the higher the reproductive success. The redder the northern cardinal is, the more likely he will produce more offspring during the breeding season. There are two reasons that can contribute to this. The first is that redder males can potentially attract earlier breeding females during the season. And the second reason is that redder males can sometimes have better territory quality in terms of the density of vegetation, which then leads to higher nestling survival rates. When it comes to mate attraction, however, there's debating research on whether redder cardinals are more desirable to females. An older study treated test males so that their plumage would be lighter, but females showed no preference one way or another between the lighter or darker red males. This is a little reassuring considering cases of partial or full leucism in cardinals. Leucism, or as some pronounce it, leucism, is a genetic condition where color pigments are lower. A mark of a leucistic bird will be a small white patch or even a large white region. I do want to give a huge shout out for this footage here. This video comes from Scott Davis. And this one here was contributed by Joseph McHugh Jr. And if you love fishing and wildlife, definitely check out his Instagram at Green Lantern Fishing. Finally, this was contributed by Jan Adder. They're definitely stunning if you're lucky enough to discover one. A cardinal's red color is sometimes an indicator of dominance. However, color alone is not the only determining factor. Other factors signaling dominance will be size, age, and proximity to their own breeding territory. In fact, color and dominance has been harder for researchers to study. In natural settings, color plays an important role in dominance, but in cases where researchers manipulated coloration to yield darker or lighter birds for tests, cardinal dominance was not as highly dependent on how red their plumage was. While father cardinals are known for being very attentive to their mate and their young, they don't typically play a role in incubating eggs. Instead, the mother will be the one incubating and keeping her nestlings warm. However, some studies have found male cardinals will temporarily assist with the incubation while the female is out for a small break to forage. There was a case documented of a bigamous cardinal in Ohio. Interestingly, his plumage was not anything overly vibrant. Basically, he was just an average male. His mating with the secondary female overlapped the first. The male cared for the primary female while she was incubating their eggs, but he didn't really feed the secondary female while she was incubating. Fortunately, the paternal care for both nests improved once the eggs hatched. The male cardinal song is very loud. However, his calls are usually louder, faster, and will have higher minimum, maximum, and peak frequencies in urban settings compared to those in rural settings. The difference in frequency is not well explained by habitat differences. Instead, it might be due to specific dialects of the area. A dialect for birds refers to a similarity in the sound pattern or syllable and their sequence of the song of the same species within a nearby territory. Therefore, different dialects would have subtle differences in sound and presumably occur in different territories. Two of the primary reasons for the male's loud song is mate attraction and territory defense. In this sense, singing around territory borders is a more passive method of territory defense. Here, he's letting his neighbors know where the lines of his territories are. His song may offer up other information about himself to his neighbors. The quality of his song can sometimes be an indicator of health and whether or not he's new to the territory. While the male will sing throughout the breeding season, you'll typically hear males singing more frequently during the pre-nesting period as well as when nests are being made, which is attributed to mate attraction, courtship, and defense. As the season progresses, males will be focusing more on territorial defense. 
In terms of how loud a cardinal song gets, this can range, especially depending on how close a territory is to other urban sounds such as traffic. One study followed 42 cardinals and 53 robins and found a range between 39 to almost 68 decibels. The study also found that cardinals adapted characteristics of their song based on location more than robins did. The next time you hear a cardinal singing, take a moment to observe. Look at his body language. Is his mate nearby, or is he and a neighboring cardinal sounding off? It can be really interesting and a lot of fun to watch and listen. Again, I want to give a special shout out to Scott, Joseph, and Jan for their contributions to this video. Thank you so much.